Depersonalization. Anime meets Lovecraft meets JRPG Final Fantasy-esque. Turn-based battles meets detective game meets stats upgrade fantasy sanity insanity game. I have no idea. Depersonalization is a, currently an early access game that has been released quite a while ago, has been in my Steam library for a while. We are going to play its official demo. And as always, the demo is there to get a proper first introduction impression towards the main game. With that in mind, that's why I believe it's almost always the best way to experience a demo without any other information. That's what I have. I saw the trailers. I um, <laughs> read the first paragraph of the Steam page and now we're here. And of course I downloaded the game. The first paragraph of the Steam page, by the way, is something like run, die, lose, try again, insanity. With, of course, a bunch of exclamation marks. So I'm excited. I have no idea what we're in for. But let's have this experience together, shall we? I already loved how the game starts with this beautiful music that builds quite a bit of atmosphere. Oh, I love this. And yeah, seriously, I have no idea what's going to happen. This might be the worst video I've ever done, but Lovecraftian always tells me, man, I just need to experience it. Also, the loading screen is surprisingly long, but this just allows me to talk. Consciousness is from far to near. And the endless starry sky is scattered from the other side in the library where thousands of books are stored. The ethereal voice of a girl comes from the opposite side of the desk. Well, please next time hire so many. There's so many talented voice actors out there or just have it there. But oh man, this robot AI voice is just terrible. So I didn't understand anything it said. Consciousness is far from uh, from far to near. And the endless starry sky is scattered from the other side. The, I guess, case point? In the library, where thousands of books are stored, the ethereal voice of a girl comes from the opposite side of the desk. So already minor complaint. I'm not a fan of this um, automatic reading. Especially not in, at least not in games. The twisted timeline still exists. Oh, this is terrible. F11. Can we turn this off? That is the most important thing. Voice, AI speaker. Yeah, no speaker. Thank you. Oh, man. Whew. This just takes off all the atmosphere just built off. Oh, man, that's terrible. Yok Sothoth. All right. That, of course, it's an anime girl. Isn't that like one of these Cthulhu Lovecrafting gods or something? Oh, man. New time space opened up. They are still fragile. To keep the library going. Starkey. I need you to travel to time spaces, to influence history, and then we'll bring the details of the change back here. Those will become the power to fill time spaces. They really don't like to end their sentences with a point, with a dot. These are the books related to time spaces. You can read the information in the books to decide which time space to go to. Still no dot. You need a reasonable associated person to intervene in history. Otherwise, you will not be able to survive alone in the world. Still no dot. You can create the associated person here. Oh, a dot! Later on the trip, you will get the same identity and experience. Well, we create a reasonable associated person. Oh, I like that. The library is connected to the gate. And by activating the gate, you can go to any time space without a dot. When you decide on the book of time space, I will open the gate for you without a dot. In addition, you can always come to me if there are any other issues. Still no dot. I will answer any questions for you without a dot. I see, Sethos. Three dots! But... Three dots again? What's that? <laughs> oh god, yeah, what, what the hell? <laughs> what the hell? Hey, there's the switch. And potato chips. You look to the other side. On the right side of the library, there's a scene that is incompatible with this place. A huge iron box is flickering and changing with light, and the multiple glass plates next to it are constantly changing with strange pictures. Kind of existence is taking over there unceremoniously. His hand is playing a strange handle with button. 
Okay. There are strange and messy objects around. No dot. Kind of... So that is kind of existence. Okay. So thus shows a helpless expression that you rarely see. He put his hand on his forehead. Oh god, that's terrible. He put his hand on his forehead. Okay. After I woke up. Afor Gomorn's body has fallen into a deep sleep. But even so, his consciousness is always reluctant to fusion with me without a dot. So, dot, dot, dot. Weigh the pros and cons. I'll let him appear in here. Okay, I'm gonna stop it now with the dots. Because, <laughs> oh man, that's, I hope it's not too no annoying already. I've reached a consensus with him. He no longer actively interferes with any time space. I no longer interfere with his freedom either. Uh, okay. Dots. Hope you don't bother again. Alright, time to play the game. Without a dot. Awesome, doing this, interact. Talk! What the? Why didn't you do it like this sooner? This is way cooler. Can I blow the candles? I can't. Alright, just click everywhere. So it's time, money, I don't know, mythical items, seek answers. Yeah, my mythical items. I can make projections out of all the spiritual items you obtain in different time spaces and merge them together or something? I couldn't read the last. Time spent point consumption. A thousand. Recita Aria. Recita Aria. The end of a performance is just a pause of fate. After entering the mod, character gets extra items, Recita Stick Aria Revolver Projection. The projection will replace the existing projection mythical item. Do I have one? Projection. Two. Give up. No, I don't want to give up. So I have that now? I paid the price for sure, at least. Yep. Yeah. Okay, we have that. Something with the origin. Seek answers. About the past, about the now, about my mission. Oh no, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm too afraid of what you're saying. It's going to confuse me even more. Can I fast run? Oh, we have a stick. We have a walking stick. Amazing. Is this something? F to direct. Check record player. Expressing emotions with art. So first enjoys it. Switch song. Next song? Create a... Talk to Sothos. Create investigator. Choose mod interlude story. The gate. Ooh, nice music. Ooh, and F to interact. Check snack bags. A lot of food you haven't seen are piled up here in a mess. Clean the floor? Sure. What's these? I'd better clean it up. Sothos doesn't like the library clutter. <laughs> you mustn't touch my things! Now these all your things? Dots. Aren't you unable to interfere with time space anymore? Where did you get all this stuff? Tywell must add a lot of stupid in shaping you. Although I promise not to influence time space any longer. It doesn't mean I would have to return my belongings. He did not return the time spaces he devoured. Those beings. Those being devoured still are forgotten in history. You have failed without a dot. What do you still want to do? Question mark and exclamation mark. <laughs> Finally come to an interesting question. You want to time travel? Use your equivalent time-space power to redeem it! <gasps> Exclamation mark! What is going on? It will become more interesting! Small puppet, if you claim justice, you should earn the power of suppressing Tavil! For me! It's a slot machine. Pachinko machine? Let's do it. Check the Gashapon machine. Of course, I know all the machines. The souls that Afagormon devoured before are all here. He's not going to repair the broken timeline himself. I must pay the power of time space to this machine to free them. Oh, what a bad guy he is. The claw game has not been opened yet. Okay, fair. What the hell is going on? How do I deselect this? F to cancel. Okay, fair. I'm so afraid to talk to you again, but sure. Do not bother me. Oh, okay, thank you. Okay, yeah, clearly Lovecraftian, as you can see. Guess Sothos sounds like it. Go to the gate. I think not yet. I, we need to create a character, right? What is this? Check. No, I don't want to check anything. I'm too lazy. <laughs> and I'm too afraid of the English. I mean, my English isn't already that good, but this... Oh, no. Check photo frame. Yes. A blue butterfly is drawn on the photo frame. It reminds you of the most important time rule. 
Watch out for initial changes. Time is chained together. Any small change can cause an irreversible chaos effect. Oh, just go with calling it a butterfly effect. Come on. Custom mod. Not available in the current version. Fair. Check the library of characters. I think there was a typo there. Create. Ooh. So we can legitimately create now a character for that time space. A scholar. Title given to all apprentices, teachers, and wise ones. Observing occultism, uh, God, occultism knowledge. Gold 500. Police. Perhaps you didn't come here to uh, fall of justice, but the police badge in front of you will always guide your way. Shooting, observing, listen, sports. Sports? Okay. Fuck. Assassins. Ah, that's his. Observing occultism knowledge. Ah, these are essentially tags associated with the character. Do these stats change? No. Okay, shooting, observing, listen, sports. Less gold. Thug, assassins, bodyguards and guards. Powerful warriors who fulfill their duties with bare hands and blades. Yeah, that's what I imagined a thug being. Powerful warrior? Sure. Fight, shooting, sports, stealth. Okay, detective. The one to answer your questions. The one to search for the truth. This, this, in this place, there will only be one correct answer to the puzzle. Listen, observing, stealth, and negotiation. Doctor, you don't have to be a saint, but we are all people who fight against death. Negotiation, psychology, knowledge, medicine. Traveler. Some, some been to the top of mountains. Some swam all the rivers. What will your journey be? And where will it take you? Sports, negotiation, craft, medicine, a thousand gold. I mean... I kind of want to go with Scholar or police, police guy, on the other hand. I guess, giving the setting, we have to be a detective, right? Lovecrafting is always about being a detective. Barehand damage, one. Also, my stats don't seem to change, so I'm not sure what that means. Remaining attributes points, 95. Wow. Intelligence, power. Oh, there we go. Constitution. Although it cannot prevent you from cold or poison, it will make your body stronger. <clears throat> Freaking cold. Willpower. We are constantly fighting with our inner madness. Those strong-willed undoubtedly will preserve longer. I mean, willpower is always um, important in Lovecraftian um, games, I guess. Intelligence. Many inspirations in life come from this, including some unique signs. What is a sign? I have no idea. Power. You will become more powerful and able to move heavier objects. Agility. This will allow you to have better reflexes and be more nimble. 35, 35. All of them are 35. Can, can I send them down? I could. Interesting. To gain more points. So it starts off with 35 and everything. Let's go with 12 in health. Willpower also sounds important. At least 50. MP. I'm fine with just 10, I guess. Power. Bare hand damage. It's essentially one, <laughs> toss a coin, throw a d4. Oh, it's expensive. Okay. Let's go with d4. 15 points left. Dodge. So, is that a percentage change? 5-5. Five, five. Let's go with the 20 and more willpower, maybe. All out willpower. 60. I have no idea what I'm doing, so continue. Sure. Skills, combat, shooting... Communications, psychology, stamina, sports, stealth, knowledge, knowledge, cultism, exploration. That's a lot of stats. Remaining skill points. Combat skill. Allow you to solve problems with fists and cold steel. As well as fight against enemies more proficiently. Shooting. Combat skill. Allow an ammunition to hit enemies more accurately. Included the techniques for using bows and crossbows. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. That, that scared me, that sound. What the hell? Why did it make that? Oh god. I'm not even kidding. That is a terrifying sound. Okay, this is already set to 50, I guess, because I am a detective, right? Negotiation, stealth, observing, listen, yeah. I put quite a few points into fighting, so let's put this to 50 as well. Shooting. I mean, the detective needs to shoot, right? Psychology. I have no idea. Allow you, allow you to understand that someone isn't telling you, such as deceptive words. I mean, that's a detective too. Cultism. You will have a better understanding of legends, rituals, and magics, but they will also put a lot of stress onto you. I'm not a fan of stress. No thanks. Knowledge. It's not a bad thing to be knowledgeable, 
it will allow you to broaden your horizon. Craft. Okay, including broken weapons, medicine. The essential skill for relieving pain and healing wounds. You will become more proficient with all kinds of medical items. So having listen. So let's put in more points in all the things I'm good at. I feel like that is a smart decision. Sports. Oh no, wait, wait. Oh god, that sound. Whether it's for climbing up high or diving down below, this is the skill that's needed to do them. Of course, you can also master this to throw something small. Sure. Listen, observing, stealth, negotiation. So we can talk, we can just hide. <laughs> and apparently we're good at exploring. Do I want to put more points in shooting? I have no idea. I mean, technically, we chose this one thing, um, the card that has a revolver, so maybe I should point into shooting as well. I'm not sure if that's good, that my skills are so spread out. I'm not, like, none of these I'm super good, but it seems like there's a limit anyway. Sure, let's go. Oh, appearance. Information and traits. Okay, classical enemy car uh, protagonist, that's fine. The love interest, that's fine. The smart one, that's fine. And the kind of best friend, but also at some point he betrays you and you have to beat him up. And at the last moment he understands that and becomes your friend. But depending on it, it's a 50-50 chance if he sacrifices himself for you or uh, if he gets killed by someone else, right? Once he comes... Because in media, there's never a redeeming. If you do something bad once, you will die. Um... Sure. I'll go with you. I feel like I'm gonna die. So, um, get the name. Luck and traits. 30 luck. Mocked and discriminated. Help the... Can I ch click to roll for luck and traits? I don't want to be mocked and discriminated. <laughs> I'm not that big of a YouTuber yet. Helpless, miserable. There's always the laughter of mockery surrounding you. Like a sharp blade piercing. Impulsive. You're too direct and unfounded when it comes to dealing with things, and you don't consider about the aftermath. Windfall. And fortune you obtain through illegal ways. What does that mean? Increase money by 10,000. Options and some incidents cannot be selected. Wake sleep. When skill check is a big failure, one to three points of SP will be dedu deducted. Altruism. Other people's... Happiness is more important than your own. When making a decision with an incident, choose belief option will I recover SP, otherwise lose SP. I don't understand. I'm gonna reroll. I mean, higher luck stat sounds good. Arrogant. High reputation. Moralism left to fate. It was a numb life. There's nothing. This world doesn't have a place for you. Okay, what does that mean? The space of your big success decreased by five points and big failure increased. No, no. I know. Mocked and discriminated. Okay, there's always something bad, it seems. Moralism. Being moral is everything. Can live a simple and frugal life. Material things isn't important. When making a decision with an incident, choose belief. Belief option will recover. Okay. Went for money. Careful. You always avoid losing anything and won't do anything risky. Options in some incident cannot be selected. So this is awake. Can be asleep. Okay, so we can make the careful trade essentially being become asleep. Mission and package. The meaning of your life is to complete a mission, a mission that is forced onto you by fate. For every experience, characteristics increased. SP degrees by one to five points. Experience characters increase, SP decrease by one. Okay, sure, I'll just take it. Great. I have the detective now. I could create more, but I guess that's it. Only took 20 minutes to become here. Let's finally play the main game. I think? I have no idea. I would like to interact with the gate. The gate. Ooh. Do I need to go up or down to interact? Start time space trip. Yes! Event selection. No mods are currently chosen. Do you want to choose one? I don't have any. Cancel. To say no. Apparently that's the wrong answer. Yes. Um, yes, apparently I want to choose one, even though I know I don't have any. Oh, 
I uh, maybe I do. Lie and swindle. Mod duration medium. Character identity any role. Type of mod Morden. What does that mean? Is that the German word Morden? Killing essentially. Hmm. Rich merchant Sherman asked his butler to find you. There's an urgent mission for you to complete. Sherman is a rich merchant who gathered his fortune from doing construction business after the disaster. Which disaster? According to your information, he has a lovely daughter who's the apple of his eyes. But it seems that her health has never been the best. Well, I'm a detective. Skip the opening scene. Um, no? This time you will travel to the time and space of 1877. And in front of you is the information about the location. Oh god, Cleveland. Oh, not Cleveland! Cleveland suffered a rare fire six years ago. Only six buildings were made. Oh, that's the event. One of them was St. Myrtle's Church. Although tragic, the disaster also prompted the area to redevelop. In just six years, the local economy has grown larger than before. Okay, please, can tell someone tell me. I think... This game has originally been developed in maybe Chinese, I think. Might have been another Asian language. Just because I'm not sure, I'm no expert in that field. Is there no, like, dots in that language? Or why, how does it come that there's literally almost no dots in this probably AI-translated text? I'm not sure. The church that the locals go to the bishop um, is said to be a brilliant medical expert. Okay, I'm just going to try to get through the gameplay at this point. I hope I'm not missing something too important. There's a person who can let you participate in this historical event. He will be your historical associated person. Yeah. We just read this, yes. Maybe I should have skipped that. Sc Starkey, my power will protect you, helping you avoid the true death. But you will still experience the pain of death. You can choose to start the journey again and erase the history you influenced. The power I have now is limited. When you enter this time and space, you will forget everything about this place. You will only be able to avoid the personality annihilation by merging with the identity of the associates. Uh, I got it. <laughs> sure, yeah. <laughs> the gate is open. Will you enter? Yes. Why would I say no? Okay, can I now go down? Now I'm back here, you... i just been here before. Yes, start my time stays. Yes. I'm the detective. You will bring all the following items. Okay. Ooh. Gold. Decotion to stop bleeding. Oh, no. Effect. Remove bleeding. Plus one to three HP. Bandages. Important first aid item. Use to bandage wounds. Uh, reduce bleeding. Okay. Essentially the same effect, it seems. Extra items. Nice! Aria Revolver. It means that the singer expresses his feelings with emotion. Does not consume ammo, but can only hit six times at most. Can attack three times, damage six to twelve, effect ignite. Recita stick. It means that the singer tells us the story in a straightforward manner. Damage one to four plus unarmored damage. Unarmed damage. Is that the one from my stats? Effect break. Armor, fracture, equipment effect, fight plus two, bonus dice. Magnifying glass, ooh, observe plus 20. And a perfume, negotiation plus 10. Yeah. Step into the gate. I'm ready. The client came to me in a hurry. I don't know what's going on, but I better go and meet my client, Sherman. Are you Sherman? Oh god, you all look... Frightening. Can I read this? No. Can we read the newspaper? We can. Cool. Read magazine. Oh god, I didn't expect so much tax. Rhode Island Post. Hundreds of corpses were excavated from the grounds of Providence Church in Rhode Island. During the reconstruction of the church, they discovered a huge fold underground. With hundreds of corpses laying around, investigators found the body of the famous archaeologist Enoch Bowen, who has been missing for years. According to the government official, the church was shut down to a protest by the locals in 1870. The reason behind this case is still under investigation. Oh, that's why here. I am a detective. Component, ammunition, luck 60. There will be, it will be one day when luck runs out. Don't overuse it. Oh no. Gold, turn 60. 
Can I equip my, Can I equip this already? Oh, yeah, um, okay. Serving upgrade. Change of it. Yeah, I don't see a reason not to equip this, right? Okay, I've got my cane. I've got my revolver. Clue items, yeah. Resource items. Pro process. So we can even craft something. Fair. There was a crafting stat. Clues. What are these? L and tap. That's tap L. New archive. Ah, that's saving. Fair enough. Hello, sir. What is this? A check. Gigantic stone pillars are connected to the top of this church. The stones on the ceilings are weathered. They seem to have somewhat history. There are traces of smoke on the top of the stone pillars. Is that a clue? Found a clue. Is there a way to go? It seems like stairs down. Hello? Talk. Simon, today is the right day. Okay. The day has finally come. The suffering will end, and the glory will be with all, all of us. That sounds like you're talking about a C Cthulhu ritual. I'm not a fan of that. Can we read this? Check. The name of the room is written on it. Room of Law of Sins. And there are some inscriptions engraved on the bottom. The desire for evil in the limbs will bear the fruit of death. Okay. Talk. Today is Sunday, and I can enjoy the sacrament after completing my religious affairs. I'm looking forward to it. During your conversation, you notice a note hidden in his oversized sleeves. Oh, is that because I have a good observation skill? Also, there's something blinking in there over the torch. Torch. Event selection. This believer is a little absent-minded. It looks like the note will fall soon. You are going to... No, I'm gonna take the note, of course. Oh no, stealth check! Check... What? Well, try again. I rolled the 64, is that not good enough? Check difficulty, success, failure. I guess I have to roll below 60? Oh no, okay, I'm gonna pay two luck to try again. That's good, success, okay. You have to roll below it, fair enough. Confirm. You took the note out of his oversized sleeves while he wasn't paying attention. Tame clue. Notes on luck upgrade. Change of clue. Wait, I still gained four luck even though I paid two. Obtain clue. Notes. Okay. Can we read this now? Yeah. No. 58. Is the note the luck upgrade? Clues. Right? Yeah. No magic for now. Notes on church affairs. Believers must undergo church services on Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. Each time... Two people will be responsible for execution. Execution? Below stays the people in charge today, Corey and Evan. Evan. In the last column, it wrote materials Mark. Marcus is the material to be sacrificed? Oh no. Okay, that is Simon. We have to find one of these guys, I guess. Did we know his name? Evan. Oh no, he's. He killed someone today. Or Evan. Let's go with Evan, if I can remember this. Corey and Evan. Oh no, who did you kill? You killed Marcus. Take the torch. Yeah. What is this? Okay, I have a torch. That could come in handy, I suppose. Torch can be used as a source of light as well as source of fire. It can chase away darkness, but it can bring disaster too. One plus uh, to four plus unarmed damage. Can I look into my stats again? Process backtech? I'm not sure. Menu? No. I. Okay, there we go. Bare hand damage. I guess that is my... Uh, the bare hand damage is also uh, my, un uh, my unarmed damage, which is a d4. Your combat ability when no weapon equipped. So if I would use the resetter stick, for example, which deals a d4 plus my unarmed damage is a d4 plus d4. Okay. 6 to 12. Interesting. Okay, let's go down, I guess. Go to the church hall. Why are we here again? I forgot. <laughs> Something about the fire and the daughter is sick, right? Hello. This believer squats and keeps hitting his head against the wall. Then he stops and mutters something. Insane believer, I'm so hungry. I'm hungry, 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 hungry! 
Holy Spirit. My fingers. I finished them all. Holy Spirit. I want Holy Spirit. Can we talk to him again? Okay, he's just gonna repeat what he said. Fair enough. So he wants some Holy Spirit. I don't have Holy Spirit. I'm not sure if he means alcohol. I hope he does. Take water. Water bottle. Sure. Can I take this torch too? I'll take all the torches. There's a door. Do I want to go through the door? I have no idea. Oh no, what did I do? Sherman. Is that the door? Oh, it's a small one. Bishop Wiseman, you saved my daughter last time. Please save her again. I give you all the donations you need as long as you can save her. There's no need to be like this. And our Lord wouldn't wish to see his little lamb suffering. The Lord himself has no flesh, no blood. Hence the blood of all lies is his blood. I'll do my best to save her. Wise man carefully diagnos uh, diagnoses <laughs> the girl and takes some medicine from his pocket to feed to her. After that, he takes out a cross and starts to pray. Oh, our last lamp. Your father has found you. It's time to wake up. Is he going to transform her? Daddy. Daddy, I saw so many monsters after you left. The voices are scary. I'm scared to stay home alone. Promise you won't leave me by myself again. Oh, he's heartbroken. Daddy's here, not going anywhere. I promise. I'll stay with you from now on. No, he's the evil guy. Revolver, now. He's angry. You see the bishop leaving with a sad look on his face. But he soon adjusted and returned to normal. Finally, you are here. He looks... he looks are you. And you can see the anxious look on his face. As you can see, my daughter has a strange illness. She'd always pay, pass out without any signs and lose her consciousness. Those quacks! For the amount I was paying them, they couldn't even tell me what was wrong with her. After ranting out his rage, he looked around, making sure no one was paying attention. He then leans in and whispers to you. Even the wise man was able to bring her back every time. But it would relapse as soon as we got home. Now, I refuse to believe these quacks are doing anything to help her with her illness. I don't think this is some god's trial either. They must be planning for more. But for my daughter... I have to keep some kind of relationship with them. I can only count on you now. So, you s suspect your daughter's illness has something to do with the church. And you need me to find some evidence, right? That sounds good. I'll take this mission. Very good. This is part of the deposit. I'll be here waiting for your news. You wait here with your daughter of this clearly scary church of people full of they already i have a clue i can already tell you they sacrifice people they sacrificed marcus not marcus i like them oh no well luck upgrade 62 to 66 some gold okay okay now i have 66 i think last time it didn't update because it still showed 58 i guess i really want to have a look at the clue Okay, it's just what he just said. Can we talk to him again? He looks at the statue on the podium and mutters as if he was praying. Even a glimmer of hope will do, as long as my daughter is safe. I'm willing to give up everything I have now. I mean, my guess is they are trying to transform the girl into a monster or something. Hello. It doesn't feel good to be sick, but daddy will come back to me. When I'm by myself, everything around me becomes so scary. Claws would grow out from the table, and plushies turn into monsters. Everyone seemed to be wearing scary masks. Oh no. Foreshadowing for sure. Hello? Walker. Marcus, don't! Don't come over! You can see him trembling and haggard in poor half. Seeing you approaching, he keeps on saying, Marcus, don't come over! I mean, we know Marcus has been sacrificed already. In peace. Oh, there was a skill check. I didn't see that. 
55 again. I have luck. Oh, are you kidding me? Come on. Are you... Come on, this is... Okay. Oh, this time I paid eight. Okay, no. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Looks like I can't win the skill check. 52. This is too costly. Your appeasement failed. You became more emotional. Seeing you was like seeing the most horrific thing on earth. Please, Marcus, don't come any closer. I didn't leave you on purpose. Loading? What? All right, combat. Select a skill. Engage direct shooting. The most basic attack method. No need for any skill check and cannot continuously fire, dealing the damage of current weapon. Is that what he does? He's gonna shoot me? So we have shooting too. It's 10 health. What is that? Lock. No lock. Equipment. That's this stuff. Backpack. Oh no. And I paid so much luck for this guy to not kill me. I also hope the game isn't too loud for you guys. Fight, shooting, sport, stealth. Negotiation? I have no idea. What do I do? I could just shoot him. Let's try to negotiate. Break psychological defense. Psychological 50. Agility plus 50. Use psychology to understand the psychological flaws of the target. I don't know. I'm not sure if that is good enough. Stealth. Give a heavy blow. Hide your traces and stun the enemy. No longer effective if the enemy finds you. Steal an item. Ooh, hide first. Uh, hide your traces. Agility plus 50. You hide carefully for a turn. The enemy selected attack will not target you. Okay, let's try to hide. I'm good at stealth, right? Start the action. Action stage. Oh, big felt. Are you kidding me? Shooting success. Oh, seven damage. Ow, oh, that hurt. Oh, that hurt so much. Do we have magic? We don't have magic. Oh, man. Gauge basic. Use all out attack. Vital parts. Attempt. I mean, I do have an item, right? Why can't I use that? An enemy? No. How do I get back? Like this. Seven damage. Stealth. Shooting. I'm not sure if I want to shoot, even though I'm not doing good. The most basic attack. Out there. No need for any skill check. Dealing the damage of current weapon plus unarmed damage. Yes, let's go. Well, I can only select this guy, so please select him. Go, with my staff. Dodge success. Oh, thank you. Come on, please hit him. Fight success. Yes, five damage. And fractures. The stacks of fracture will increase every time a check takes place. He's gonna shoot at me again. Are you kidding me? What do you do against shooting? He might kill me. My sports isn't good. Oh no, engage direct shoot. The most basic attack method. No need for any skill check. And cannot continuously fire, dealing the damage of current weapon. So, can I check what my revolver does again? Attack. I can only use it three times if I got this right. Headshot. Sports. Escape. Find a safe place. Give a heavy blow. Fight your traits and stun the enemy. No longer effective if the enemy finds you. Why he found me? Grape shot kick. Use your own power to overcome the opponent. If successful, the enemy will be stunned. At the same time, snatch target's weapon. I mean, I, I think he's gonna attack first though, right? That's not good. I have no idea. Fight 50. Snatch weapon. Power 60. Start action. I have to select him again. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Action stage, come on. Shoot him, big failure. Ooh. 100. Oh, he can shoot twice? Okay, he missed, luckily. Power against success. Okay, I stunned him. Constitution failure. And he's unconscious. Okay. Just punch him. Use skills for combat, dealing the maximum damage of current weapon plus unarmed damage. I mean. Yeah. Do I have a reason not to do that? Go. Start action. Fight big success or one. 16 damage. Whew. Well, we gained three ammunition. That's nice. Um, you can search for extra trophies by performing an observation check. Yes, please. Hey, success. Confirm. So we also gain another ammunition and a crowbar. Break fracture. Um, take trophies, yes. You knocked Walker out of his consciousness. 
To avoid trouble, you even gave him some simple treatment. A crowbar fell out of his pocket while you were moving him onto the bench. Why would the hunter keep a crowbar on him? God, he hurt me so bad. Okay. That hurt a lot. I mean, I'm not bleeding. Just a bottle of water. Important first aid item used to bandage wounds or reduce bleeding. Remove bleeding. I'm gonna use one, I guess. Which is a failure. Of course it is. Medicine 20. Oh, I'm not good at medicine. Medicine use. I lost health? This took me two health because I failed the medicine check? Oh, no. Sh oh, shotgun. They must have a... Um, the must have for a hunter. Being proficient with it will allow them to subdue most creatures. Whether the opponent is a tiger or an elephant can attack twice. I mean, I have 11 ammunition. I should have just used my revolver last time. Yeah. Fact fight plus turn to you. This would be a bonus dice, even though I'm not sure what that does. Current effect fight plus two. A tool for labor as well as the most common key in the world. <laughs> so I'm gonna... Can I switch these out? Right click? Fight upgrade? Yeah. Let's get rid of the recitor stick and equip the shotgun. Oh, that decreases my fight? Oh, because it's essentially a two-handed weapon. Okay, let's go with this then. No, oh, wait. Okay, wait, wait. No stick. Revolver and crowbar for now. Oh no, I should have done more for medicine. What do I do? I'm almost dead. Let's try it again. I'm so afraid if I fail the other... Resource items, if I fail the check on the decotion. Can I just drink it? Happy. Hey, two health. Do I have more? I'm so afraid. Okay, one more. Freaking bandages. Anyway, I'll just chuck it down. If I get hit, I'm... At least I survive one more hit before I completely die. That's a cool picture, by the way. Interact, investigate. Oh, no, observation check. Oh, 17. Nice. For once, I'm lucky. Although you know there's a compartment here, you still can't find the trigger after searching for a long time. Even with the 17? Forget it. I can't shove this place in front of these believers. So there's something here hidden. So we need to find the key, apparently. Yeah, the button to operate that thing. I don't have a reason not to take the ch uh, torch, I think. Gambling. Hey, bro. Want some of these? I don't know. Buy Holy Spirit. Buy a dagger. Yeah, Holy Spirit, gold amount reduced, that's fine. This is the real thing. I wouldn't be selling these if I didn't lose to bad. One more day and I can't get a new Holy Spirit. You can see madness on his face and some vessels popped in his eyes. By all means, this guy is hopeless. But we have holy medicine. I'm gonna buy a dagger too, sure, why not? I have so much gold. Although the church stipulates that I can't lose this thing. But as long as I can make a profit out of it, I can buy it again from someone else. Okay, uh, thanks, sir. Let's have a look. The dagger. 1 to 6 plus unarmed damage, bleeding, agility plus 20. Effect break, not sure. Agility, is that better for my other weapon? What is the Holy Spirit, by the way? Holy medicine. There's a strange smell that lifted people's spirit. Recover all HP. Cost 5 to 10 sanity points. So, it's not necessarily a good thing. Hello, sir. Talk. A believer sits in a chair with a thick boot spread across his lap. It's a finely bound book, with a black cover and red dye smeared on the sides. The title of the book is The Book of Stars. He's reading it religiously. Are you a Katishu man who wants to join our order? He looks a little frantic when he sees you. I have some duties to do now. Take this book and have a good read through it. Holy Bible. I'm to go to work on religious affairs now. You must read this book carefully. Oh, he, and he just disappeared. If I know one thing about Cthulhu-esque games, don't read the book. Um, I mean, maybe not g games, but... I know usually that turns you crazy, right? Talk. I smell Holy Spirit on you. Please, I'll only need one drop. One drop! Give me one drop and you're my living parent. I can do anything for you. Event selection. 
This believer prays for your, for your giving. The frantic countenance frightens you. We are going too. Yeah, sure, you have it. He anxiously opened the potion with his teeth. He regained sanity after drinking it. Oh, thank you. I wouldn't have made it past this time. Damned wise man. He lied to me. Why does everyone else get the holy, holy spirit weekly except for me? And told me that I'm hopeless. For God's sake. All I did was accidentally hurting some little girl while I was drunk. Oh god. Ha! I know those experiments, uh, experiments he's been doing at the cemetery. He is no saint himself. Why is he only judging me? Obtain clue, crazy talk, and some luck. He curses wise men fiercely. And after a while, his eyes become hallucin oh God, hallucinatory, staring at his arms and drooling uncontrollable, uncol uncontrollably, as if he's looking at delicious, delicious food. This delicate skin. I haven't enjoyed it for a long time. Ugh. This maniac bit off his arm. He saw the blood running down, making a mess of the scene. But there was a happy smile on his face. After that, his eyes lost focus, and he soon bled to death. Uh, you just straight up died here, what? Intellect check. Success, succeeded, check difficulty, success. Success, succeeded, detect 1 to 6, failed, detect 1 to 10. I can't read all this. A speed reduce, oh, 11? That's a lot, search. You searched carefully and found some snacks on him as well as an anesthetic needle in his inner pocket. Thinking back to what he said early on, you become furious. Dagger, the caution, towel. Well, we have two daggers now. I still wonder if that is better or worse than the crowbar. Holy Bible of the Celestial. Apart from the commandments, uh, commandments records, there's also a teaching, we are all blood of God. We can only be redeemed once we return to God. This is a bad idea. Let's read it. Knowledge reduced by 10. Obtain trade, interact with... Where can I look at my traits then? I guess here at my character? Traits. Um, wonderful. Interact with cold, yeah. You have interacted with some people whose theories go against the norm and act insane as a result of it. Maximum SP decreased by 10 points. Knowledgeable skill minus 10. This skill sleeps, I gain 10 intelligence. Did we gain anything else? This, yeah. Anesthetic decotion. The anesthetic can temporarily make the target body unconscious. Target receives unconscious. Remove bleeding with a towel. Okay. Check. A believer is cleaning a strange knife. You see a long key on his waist. Oh, this is a bad idea. Let's try to steal the key. Moralism? <laughs> no, I'm gonna steal the key, of course. Who do you think I am? Why did it just... Okay, stealth confrontation observe... Oh, his observing was 36, my 33. And his skill was 60, uh, 30, my 60. I have no idea how that works against. While he's cleaning, you quietly took the long-handled key from his waist. No better, okay. Oh, it's a hassle to handle the materials properly. Ah, I got to rush to the material room. Oh no, the materials room is where they kill them. Did he went over here? Let's go back to the entrance. Let's see if we can use the key on this. Is that the material room? Check. A heavy metal door with one special keyhole. I do have, yeah. I have a key. Is it not the one? Can I use it from a backpack? A key that is very heavy, not easy to carry it everywhere. Use. L seems like I can't use it then. So I thought that was the so-called material room. Where they got rid of Marcus, we know that. That's also where they all have daggers. I really like how there's literally dead guy here. This guy attacked me with a pistol. But no one cares. No one cares. That's the graveyard. That's where they told us this is a very evil place. This is where the wise man is doing things. What is this? Can I take this torch just in case? Confessional. Okay. What about this? Check. On the door it says preparation room. Non-church members are not allowed to enter. You tried to give it a push, but the door was locked. Listen, use crowbar, try to pick the lock and enter the room. Don't I have a key for this? Listen. 
Oh, that's a huge failure. I mean, two luck. Come on, let's reroll. Oh, God, I'm so bad at rolling. Once more. 23, finally. The room is very quiet. You listen carefully and hear the drawer being opened. Then there's a dull thud like a heavy box falling to the ground. After that, you heard painting noises as if it's coming from those beasts. Oh, no. You stealth skeleton and open the door, Crowbar. Yeah, sure. Let's be stealthy. Let's go to to the monster noises. That's a good idea. You know these reed locks are easy to open with the right technique. You hear the snap of the lock and this door opens. <laughs> I mean, we knew it was a bad idea. As soon as you entered the room, a tremendous sense of fear swept through your whole body. You stood there in shock and stared at the terrifying monster. Tele intellect check. I failed. Oh, by one. Are you kidding me? SP reduce. Oh, man, I'm going crazy. Select scale. Okay, what is this? Tong. Ugh. The giant tong can pierce through like blades, successfully dealing 2 to 8 points of damage. They attack with half bleeding effect. How am I supposed to survive that? 20 hit points and heals 3 each turn. And it noticed me, right? So what can I do? Stealth, negotiate, use item? I mean, I have... Oh, anesthesia. Yeah, sure. Sports. Oh, I'm bad at sports, though. Maybe I'm gonna shoot it instead? Direct shoot continues. It should increase the penalty. I want to shoot it as many times as possible, I guess. Should have taken the shotgun after all. Tungster says, dodge success. Nice. One shot. Come on, shoot again. Shooting big failure. No. Okay, new round begins. Um, 11 ammunition, equipment. Okay, I can use it two times more. My... Yeah, continuous fire, please. Please dodge. I'm good at dodging, right? Fractured. Is that bad for him? Success. Dodge failure. No. Two damage. Okay. Ah, and one bleed. Shooting big failure. Are you kidding me? Come on, roll again, please. Oh, no. I'm losing. What is this? Confusion roar. The crazy roaring sound will pierce through your head and leave its marks on your soul. Your body will be confused. I don't know what else to do, but then shoot it. Come on. Action stage. Oh, and here it's so painful. Okay, it failed. I'm still bleeding to death. One shot. Oh, 12 damage. Come on, please shoot again. Tonge. Oh, I'm... This might kill me, but I don't know what to do then. No skills available? What? Uh, can I equip the shotgun? Gage continues. Fire. Go. Please. Survive this somehow. Oh, failure. Oh, it fails, and I did too, but... Oh, so much bleeding. Shoot, are you kidding me? No! Oh, no, no, no. Last time. I hope it misses me. I really don't know what else to do. Action not selected. I hope this is enough. Please dodge. Please don't hit me. Please dodge. Dodge failure. Tungsten says no! Oh, no. Restart the combat. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is a good th time to give you my first impression while I try to just shoot it down, whatever. Um, that's kind of me. This is a minor complaint that you have to select it makes sense against multiple enemies, but this prompt that you need to actually select an enemy takes a bit too long to actually disappear for my taste. That's a lot of damage. This thing is evil. Wow. Big success. One, one shot. Wow. Okay, let's search at 80. We won't be able to do that. Oh, no, we did 80. Okay, always below, right? Iron leather key. It's not a pretty key, but it sure is safe and practical. Red rune. Ooh. A strange rune twisted marks. Equipment effect eight, is 3 HP each round. Also to us, right? Awesome. Mysterious book. Rumors say if you can crack the secrets behind it, you will gain unbelievable power. Check occultism. Effect randomly learn magic. Ooh. Very good items. The monster quickly climbs to the roof and left. We didn't even kill it. There's so much more to explore here. These are the secrets. There's a map back there as well. Oh, we need that. <laughs> Look at our character literally like bleeding ooze from his middle. I mean, we're technically not a normal human, right? So maybe that also explains, well, it's not red blood, but 
I don't know, black blood, whatever that color is, dark blood. Um, I find it very interesting. I am still bleeding. Um, every time deduct HP when performing action on the enemy. So I might still be able to um, perform actions just in the world, I wonder. I find this is a very interesting mix. Um, clearly, I, I personally think that the AI voice is terrible. It sounds awful. I don't like it, but there's the option to just turn it off. That is highly appreciated. On the other hand, I guess in this context, it might add to this otherworldly, uncomfortable atmosphere, maybe. I also... Um, uh, think that the translation is not very good. It's it it's good enough to understand what's going on, but overall, so many typos. Um, and I say this as not as a non-native speaker. Um, not enough dots. Please have a dot at the end of your sentence. <laughs> That's weird. Uh, but I guess this is somewhat or entirely AI translated. I don't know, or with just a transla uh, translation tool. That's my guess. But other than that, it's a very interesting mix, like enemy and this, it's just, I like how it kind of just throws you into the, game, into the game. I don't know what's going on, maybe because of the demo. But yeah, you are an enemy god. The other enemy god kind of apparently destroyed time and space. And then there's the other, other enemy god who tells you, you know what, just go and try to fix it step by step. I guess that's the story. And now we're in this timeline. We have a character. It's interesting that you can create different characters. I guess that's its certain roguelike, roguelite aspect that flows into the game. I very much like, I don't know much about like Cthulhu tabletops and so, but what I know is usually that it's very mysterious. It's very difficult. It's very dangerous and the weapons are super strong and that's what this game shows as well. Like, oh man, the first time he hit me with the, his pistol, the hunter or what it was, or his shotgun even. Wow, that hurt. And this monster also. We just got very lucky. So odds are against us, which I feel is very much the right direction for this atmosphere. I also like the luck mechanic that you can reroll, but it costs luck. Obviously, you can trade in sanity, health. So there's a, definitely a lot of resource management going on as well. You can craft, apparently, ammunition. So it seems to me that you have to retry this level over and over maybe again. I do like that apparently it changes also a lot depending on what you roll and where you go decide to go to maybe. Um, so for a first impression, I very much like it. It's definitely a very weird mix of why was the one god in our hub world zoomed in with this 3D enemy portrayal of her character. No one else had this before. This is just pixel, beautiful 2D pixel art style. And then you have this round turn-based combat. It just feels weird all over and in a good way, frankly. It's a mix of very, very interesting mechanics. Feels unique, feels intriguing. The question is, how does it hold up if you continue to play this game longer with the full game, which again, as I mentioned earlier, is uh, currently in early access. You will find the link down in the description, but I'm interested. I um, might play this demo a bit more, either privately or on my Twitch channel. Um, also linked down in the description, just shameless plugging um, regardless. I'm intrigued. I think further down the road, I might give also on this YouTube channel the full game another look at to see what has potentially changed, what else you can experience in this game. It definitely is, yeah, picked my interest. It's a very unique mix, which I feel um, for first impression, to me personally at least, um, that's, yeah. Pick my interest. I, I want to keep an eye on this for sure. But please tell me down in the comments what you think. I feel, especially in this game, um, the answer might not be so easy. You also saw me reading a lot. Though. So like this visual novel, this story, this detection, this detective thing is also interesting. Yeah, it's definitely um, heavily slower the game overall due to it. And also all these skill checks, uh, it seems to me, again, just by what I heard before, that this game itself seems to be inspired by the Cthulhu tabletop RPG, maybe? With like D100s you roll and you have certain skills and so on? Maybe. But it does um, at least bring this feeling of a tabletop RPG across. I like this. 
so many mechanics and just by playing at first i was very sure this would fall flat with all this like process magic i haven't even unlocked this but i feel once i do you do understand these mechanics by just trying out which definitely really speaks for the game because so far just by playing and there's so many different mechanics that work and are intertwined with each other right and I didn't even play a tutorial, I just went into it without any knowledge and it worked. I'm probably, if you know what you're doing in this game, I probably played awful. But that's beside the point. Just by understanding the mechanics and not being completely def confused why something doesn't work or so, that is a definitely sp a strong point of the game. And with this, ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for watching. We will see each other in the next video. I'm looking forward to that. Till then, bye-bye, stay awesome, and end.